So we're ready to go here in the gym. Tigers getting ready to go for their 100th win of their high school season. Jalen Gregory facing fan in the circle, and it looks like Cannon Kenny will have the ball to start. Sisson brings it into the front court. She's going to quickly pass. The ball's going to be batted around. Here goes Smithson, and they call her for a walk. Turn it over. Be Tigerette's ball. I believe Kenny Kenny comes into tonight's game with, uh, I think they have three wins on the season. So the Tigerettes in the front court with the ball. Here's Jalen Gregory out on the left wing. She's going to dribble, picks up a screen by Woodson, fires it up for three, rims in and out, no good. Woodson, rebound, put back, no good. Rebound, put back, is good. Woodson on the two-timer, gets it to go. Tigerettes with a full court press. They're going to get it into Smithsman. Long pass down underneath. Trying to get a uh, Hughes wide open underneath, and she throws it high and hot and out of bounds. It'll be Tigerettes' ball. Quick shout out tonight to uh, Amy Ballou. She is the aunt of, of uh, Abby Shoulders, and she is listening to us live tonight on uh, the World Wide Web at WLCT.com. She's listening tonight and want to welcome her in. And thank you so much for listening to us, Amy. Uh, and from Atlanta, Georgia. So Tigrets go down and miss a shot. Score is two to nothing, 646 to play here in the first quarter. It'll be Cannon County ball. Tigrets playing some really good defense, and Cannon County struggled to get a shot off right now. Pass down inside to Hughes. She'll lay it up, no good. Battle for it. It'll come down with Smithson on the other side. Here's another shot, layup, good. That was uh, Smithson with the layup. We're tied to a piece. So Gregory going to walk it into the front court. Top of the key. Rolls to the left. Picks up a screen by Ward. Now she'll pass it back to the middle. Shoulders, fakes a three at top of the key. She's going to dribble. She drives, left block, pulls it up, shoots, no good. She is fouled. Hughes with the contact. So that will send Abby Shoulders to the line. She'll, she'll shoot two. First shot is good. Second shot, no good. Ball's battle full on the floor. Woodson comes away with it. Shot blocked by Hughes. And Cannon County will have the ball. Tigrets lead three to two. Here goes Sissom. She'll dribble, loses it. It's going to be a steal. There's Gregory. Gregory drives, dishes off to Ward. Ward layup, good. She's fouled. She's going to the line. Taylor Ward on the right side makes the layup and gets hit on the arm by, I believe that was Pelham. Ward earns three the old-fashioned way. Inbound. Ward knocks it away. Sissom gets it back. Now she's going to pass. It's going to be stolen by Shoulders. Shoulders, layup, good. Abby Shoulders makes it 8-2, to 5.33 to play here in the first quarter. Pressure starting to get to Cannon County. They'll finally break the press. That's fans. She'll put it up. Shot no good. Rebound, Gregory. Gregory, long outlet pass to Woodson. Woodson off her fingertips and out of bounds. Just out of her reach. She was wide open heading to the basket. Your score is 8-2, to 5-19 to play first quarter. Inbound. <laughs> We're going to have a walk. Walk called on Pelham. They'll turn it over. So Ashburn going to inbound. Lobs it into Gregory. Gregory from the right side, she'll dribble. Lane shoots, no good. That's going to be rebounded by Fan. Fan brings it up the court. She'll pass over to Sissom. Sissom has it taken away. Great defense by Abby Shoulders. Layup, good. Shoulders and Ashburn trapped her. Shoulders just picked her pocket. 
Makes it 10 nothing. Inbound. It's going to be stolen. Gregory. Gregory hands it to the shoulders. Shot no good. It's going to be rebounded. That is Smithson. Smithson into the front court now. Pass down inside. Here's Hughes. Lays it up. No good. Ward comes away with the rebound. Up to Woodson at midcourt. Woodson bounce pass down low. Abby shoulders at layup. Good. That is her seventh point of the game. She leads all sc scores. Your score, 12 to 2. Tigrets with the lead. Smithson gets it into the front court. She'll pass it back to Fan. Pass, stolen away, Ward. Ward steals it, saves it from going out of bounds, throws it back into Gregory. Gregory drives, left-handed layup, no good. She's going to the line. I, I believe Hughes is going to pick up her second foul. We're going to have a timeout. Cannon County, Tigers lead 12-zip. Correction, 12-2. Gregory at the line for two. First shot is good. Second shot is good. That'll make it 14 to two, 406 to play here in the first quarter. Tigrets putting on the press again, and they're going to get it out in the front court to number 25. Is that Smithson? She breaks the pressure. Gregory is going to foul her, send her to the line. Shelby Smithson. First shot is good. That'll make it 14 to three. Just under the four minute mark here in the first quarter. And Hughes will check out of the game as number 40 checks in. That is Lawson. Second shot is good. 14-4. Gregory going to bring it into the front court. F fan defending. Now she'll bounce past the ward at the high post on the right side. She'll drive. Kicks it outside to Ashburn. Ashburn for three. No good. Shoulders. Rebound. Put back. No good. Shoulders. Gets her own rebound. She's going to dribble. She'll drive back inside. Now back outside. Work it over to Ward. Ward bounce pass inside to Shoulders. Shoulders dribbles it out in the left corner. Picks it up. Goes to Gregory. Gregory on the wing. Now she's going to dribble it. Across the lane, layup is no good. Woodson gets the rebound, goes right back. She is fouled. And I believe number 24, that's Pelham, called for the foul. Allison Saranda Woodson to the line. She'll shoot two. First shot is no good. Pelham comes out of the game. I'll get a number for you, number 20. That's Caitlin Crook in for Cannon County. Second shot was good. That'll make it 15-4. And Gregory gets a steal at midcourt. Throws it over to Shoulders. Shoulders for three in the corner is good. 18-4. Tigrets are just pouring it on, folks. Cannon County cannot do anything with his defense. Pelham lobbed down inside, stolen away by Woodson. She just stepped in front of it. Had good position. Here comes Gregory. Gregory drives, kicks it out. Ashburn, now back to Gregory. Gregory runs the baseline. Reverse layup is good. 20 to four, Tigrets with the lead. 2.36 to play, first quarter, whistle. And looks like Fan stepped on the baseline as she was inbounded. It'll be Tigerette ball under the basket. Ashburn throws into Shoulders for three. Good! <laughs> Abby Shoulders is on fire. 13 points, six minutes into the ball game. So here's Cannon County down in the front court. Shot for three by Pelham. Is air ball out of bounds. Correction, that's Smithson. So it'll be Tiger at ball. They lead 23 to 4. 
Gregory. Going to walk it down across midcourt here. It, it is senior night here at Macon County High School. Tigers going for their 100th win of their senior, of their high school career. Gregory fires up a long three, shot no good. It's going to be rebounded by Cannon County. So another pass down inside. They're trying to go to Smithson, throws it wide, out of bounds. Reese Vance in the game. She threw it away for Cannon County. So that will make it 23 to 4. Gregory walks it up the floor. Minute and 40 to play here in the first quarter. She'll pass it over her shoulders on the right wing. Now back inside to Gregory heading to the basket. And she is fouled underneath the basket. She'll go to the line for two. Fan got her. That is her first, team's fifth. Gregory, first shot is good. Thompson and Gracie Scott. Allie Thompson, Gracie Scott getting ready to check in for the Tigerettes. Second shot, no good. Battle for it, and Cannon Cannon will come away with it. Vance has it at midcourt. Picks it up, passes up into the front court. Smithson shoots it. Rims in and out, no good. Ashburn gets the rebound. Emily Ashburn, long pass up the floor to Shoulders. Shoulders cross court to Gregory for three. In and out, no good. Woodson goes up, gets it, shot, partially blocked, and it'll be taken away by Lawson for Cannon County. So Cannon County will have the ball in the front court. Here's Vance. She's going to dribble. Picks it up, pass. I think they got a wave of the walk a little bit right there. Lawson gets it back. She's going to dribble. Looking, looking. Ward, good defense. Ward reaches in, ties, ties it up. We're going to have a jump ball. Ward almost had the steal. And so Ashburn and Woodson get a break as Scott and Thompson check into the game. We've got 41 seconds to play here in the first quarter. Tigrets lead 24 to 4. Gregory's going to dribble at midcourt, taking her time. Goes to Thompson over on the right high post, and she'll hand it off. Gregory slices to the basket, layup good. 26 to 4. 18 seconds to play. First quarter, Fan gets it into the front court to Smithson. She'll drive, shoot, no good. Smithson comes away with it. Goes back to the basket. She's fouled. She'll go to the line for two with 7.7 .7 seconds to go. They're going to call Taylor Ward for the foul. She didn't mean to, Coach. <laughs> Smithson. First shot is good. She has all five points for Cannon County. And make it six. 26 to six. Got seven seconds before the end of the break, uh, end of the period here. Gregory brings it down. Fires a three. In and out. No good. We'll go to the second quarter with a 20 point lead. Be back in just a moment. Starting the second quarter, Tigrets lead 26 to six over Cannon County. Cannon County has the ball to start. And they'll go right to work. Shot no good. Battle for it. Woodson reaches in and rips it away. There's a whistle and a foul. Who are they going to get? I believe they're going to get Cannon County for the foul number 20. That's what the official says. And that is Caitlin Crook. Her first, team six. The Tigers will be in the bonus the rest of the way. Ashburn brings it down and gets it over to Scott on the right wing. Scott lobs it down inside to Woodson, slicing to the basket in the lane. Shot no good, a lot of contact, no whistle. And Woodson reaches in, takes the ball away, and jump ball gives it back to the Tiger X. Ashburn set to inbound for the Tiger X. She'll throw it in to shoulders. We've got shoulders. 
timeout, Macon County. Coach White saw something he wasn't happy with. He's going to talk to his girls. We'll be back in 30 seconds. Folks, welcome back. Tigerettes with the ball coming out of this timeout. They lead 26 to 6. Early going of the second quarter. Shoulders gets it inside to Thompson. Thompson back outside the shoulder. She'll fake the three, drives, lobs it inside. It's going to be st stolen away by Smithson. Now Smithson brings it into the front court. Top of the key, pass over to the left side. It's going to dribble a while. That's Vance. She'll pick up her dribble. And we're going to have a whistle and a foul. Ashburn gets called for a little bit of contact. I thought it was called for, to be honest for you. And uh, you can listen to the re – you can watch the rebroadcast of these games on uh, NCTV on Saturday and Tuesday and Thursday, 2 and 8. <laughs> Gregory going to get called for a foul on Smithson. She reaches in, tries to take the ball away, got her arm. So that's her second, team's fourth. Vance set to inbound. Pass near side, that's Lawson. Lant Vance fires up a three, it's no good. Taylor Ward comes away with the rebound. Ward gets it to Gregory. Gregory into the front court. Pass down to Woodson. Puts it up. It's good. 28 to 6. Saranda Woodson just camped out underneath and nice quick pass by Gregory. Gets two points out of that. 6 7 to play here in the second quarter. They'll lob pass down inside. Shot goes up and over the backboard. That is number 40. That is Lawson. Kenny County shuffling so many in now. I'm having a hard time with numbers. So Gregory brings it down, passes over to Ward. Ward on the give and go to Gracie Scott. Scott trying the old backdoor cutter, and she gets fouled. Correction. She missed the shot, and then she commits the foul. After Holt had the ball. So that's her first, team's fifth. Ashburn gets the steal on the inbound. She'll bring it back down, goes to Woodson. Woodson to the basket, no good. Ward tips it out of bounds, I believe. No, they're going to call it. Tigerette's ball, so uh, one of the Lady Lions may have touched it. So Gregory inbounds to Woodson, to Scott, to Gregory. Gregory steps back from the right wing. She's dribbling, picks it up, looks, looks. They got her. There you go, goes to Scott. Gives it right back to Gregory. She's going to dribble. Tiger has taken a little bit of time off the clock here. She'll go to Woodson. Woodson at the high post on the right side. Now she kicks it out. Ward, top of the key for three, off the rim. No good. It's going to be Cannon County quickly down the floor. Here's Lawson. Lawson is fouled by Ward. Ward knocked the ball all the way into the student section. She's called for contact, but it looked pretty clean from here. I thought she had a clean block, but official says nope. So that'll send Lawson to the line. She'll shoot two. First shot is good. They'll make it score 28 to 7. 455 to play here in the first half of this ball game. Ty Gritz with a big lead. And this is gonna be an air ball. Why did he get another shot on air ball? High arcing shot off the rim, no good. Rebounded by Emily Ashburn. 
Emily into the front court. She's going to run to top of the key. Now starts left. She dribbles, pulls up, shoots off the glass. No good. Rebounded by Smithson. Smithson brings it down. Pass down to Lawson. Goes off her hands out of bounds. It'll be a turnover. Tigerette ball. Abby Shoulders checking back into the game. Gracie Scott will get a break. It looks like the Tigerettes have the starters on the floor. Your score, 28 to 7. Gregory going to walk it into the front court. Smithson, Garden. Now she'll hand it off to Shoulders, to Ward. Woodson. Woodson's going to drive, pulls it up middle lane. Jumper, no good. Goes out of bounds. Tiger at ball. Last touched by number 14, Vance. Inbound, Woodson. Wide open under the basket. Layup is good. They just cleared out, and she's... She came flying in there. Makes it 28-7. Vance pulls up, jumper on the other end. No good. Taylor Ward comes away with a rebound. Ward pass over to Ashburn. Ashburn's fouled. A man, uh, Aniston Holt is going to get called for the foul. That puts the Tigers at the line for a one-and-one. One. Both teams are in the bonus now. Front end, no good. Going to be rebounded by Cannon County. So they're going to work it down the floor quickly. Vance, pass off the foot of Sissom. She'll get it back. Now they're going to work it down inside. Sissom hands it off. Holt, jumper, good. That'll make the score 30 to nine. Tigrets with a big lead. Abby Shoulders for three, the other end. No good, rebound. Woodson, Woodson goes to the basket. She's fouled. Saranda Woodson at the line. She'll shoot two. Your score, 30 to nine, 327 to play second quarter. Anna Grace Hughes picks up her third foul for, uh, for Cannon County. First shot is good. Second shot is good. That'll make it 32 to 9. Tigerettes going for the steal. Ball's going to be battled for it. And Hughes comes up with it. She walked. Turnover gives it back to the Tigerettes. Ashburn set to inbound. Comes into Gregory. Gregory gives it back to Ashburn, now to Gregory. Gregory fires up a three. It's good. That's her 10th point of the game. They'll get the ball to Vance. Vance drives the basket. Shot, no good. Rebound put back by Sissom, no good. Tigerettes finally get the rebound. Here comes Ashburn. Ashburn to shoulders. Left corner. She, she drives, now she picks it up, goes to Woodson. Woodson drives down the lane, layup is good. 37 to 9. Woodson with 11 points. Inbound to Smithson. To Holt, back to Smithson. She'll break the timeline. Two and a half to play here in the half. Ball's going to be swatted out of there by Ward, and she'll knock it out to. Gregory, Gregory, drives, spins, shoots, no good. Vance comes out of there with it and shoulders, steals it. <laughs> Ball's on the floor, and somehow Vance comes back up with good hustle play by shoulders to come from behind and get the steal. However, Smithson throws it away. It'll be a turnover. Tigerette's ball. Ward and Ashburn come out of the game. Gracie Scott and Thompson come in. Your score, 37-9. to nine. Tigerettes ball with a minute and 53 to play here before the half.
Woodson for three in the corner. It's no good. Sissom comes away with the rebound. Hands it off to Vance. She picks up her dribble, pass. Smithson. They'll work it down inside. Sissom puts it up off the glass. It's good. A correction, that was Pelham. Gregory hands it off to Shoulders, Shoulders, Woodson, Woodson, Thompson, Thompson, battle for it on the floor, gets it back, goes to Gregory, lays it up, good, 39-11. Time out. She's slow getting up off the floor. Gregory hit the floor awkwardly, and she's slow coming off the floor. And she's getting over to the – she's got a smile on her face. She's going to the bench. Let's hope she's going to be okay. 52 seconds to play. Your score, 39-11. Tigrets with the lead here over Cannon County at senior night. Pass inside to Hughes. Now back outside, Smithson shoots it from the baseline. No good. Hughes, rebound put back. No good. That was a correction. That was Pelham. And Woodson rips it out of there. So it'll be Tigerette's ball. Here comes Greg, uh, Shoulders. Shoulders, left side. She's going to dribble. Goes to Woodson. Out on the wing. Now inside, Thompson. Thompson puts it up off the glass. It's good. 41-11. Tigerets with a 30-point lead. Thompson gets called for over the back. That will send Pelham to the line. She'll shoot a one and one. Shot, no good. And it'll be rebounded by Cannon County. Vance gets up another shot. No good. It's going to go out of bounds. Be Tigerette's ball with .3 seconds showing. So a quick inbound, that's going to do it. It should. Long heave hole down into the front court, and that's going to do it. We're going to the halftime. Tigerette's lead. 41 to 11. It'll be amazing it to me. Be. I, I saw his ankle, how bad that injury was. And, I know, it was sickening. Um, golly, but you talk about a guy who uh, with uh, I thought had as much potential uh, coming into this season as uh, anybody had ever seen. Uh, his growth year from year to year was incredible. Yes, I told uh, the guys the other day, I said, a lot of you guys are being exposed. <laughs> you know, you're, you're – mess ups on defense and your effort in different times, they're being exposed. And you know why? It's because Noah Hale's not out there covering every one of you because <laughs> his energy and his effort is so so profound that it makes everybody else look like they're working twice as hard because he, he is. He is. Uh, and uh, I, I hope I hope he can make it back uh, uh, late in the season at some point and he can get back on the floor. It, you know, just just uh, just to wear the jersey one more time and get out there. So. Right. I agree. Uh, I we're agree. just underway here the second half. Abby Shoulders just hit a three for the Tigerettes. And it, uh, Abby's aunt, uh, Aunt uh, Amy, Ballou, uh -huh. uh, she's listening to us now. Can you go to school with her? Uh, I don't she think so. She might have been behind she's, you. Yeah. School. yeah uh, but Amy, she is uh, she is down in uh, Atlanta, Georgia, listening oh, really? to us tonight. Awesome. And, and Abby is pouring it on with 16 points already. She is. And she always plays rebounds well. rebounds and steals. And an assist right there. Oh, <laughs> Gracie Scott going for no. a layup on, a, <laughs> on, a, on an assist by Abby Schultz. Yeah. So she's having a heck of a game. Yeah, they are. That, and our girls are fun to watch. They, they play hard every single night. I've been very proud of them <laughs> as well. Uh, yeah, it is, it, it, glad to see Taylor Ward back on the floor. She's, yes. she's having a good season as she well. She is. She is. Coach, thank you for coming by. I'm not going to keep you so all much. night, but I'll let you, I'll let you stay here all night if you <laughs> want to. So, But yeah. I, I appreciate it. Thank you. Good luck to you. What about uh, Cannon County? You expect any of these guys tonight a little well, bit? Well, uh, they're very good size, lengthy, very long, active on, on defense. Um, offensively, we got to keep them off the boards. They get a lot of 
they don't they hadn't shot it well lately and you don't want to say that ever because somebody will come in here and they'll make you know <laughs> 10 shot 10 threes right off the bat 70 so, percent right and so we, we have a tendency to make people good shooters sometimes <laughs> yeah. so Knox Catholic shoot like 80 78 percent <laughs> against us in the they state did. tournament when they did a couple years back they did I think Michael why Lashman do you have to remind senior. me of those nightmares Michael all the time? Lashman was a senior and they get, yeah. I'm thinking hey we get we got we're all right here and they shot 78 percent yes. in that game yeah, you know, it was, I'm like well never mind it was unreal, <laughs> unreal. How do you shoot 78%? <laughs> you know, that's, 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 my, that's Michael Jordan. He didn't, he didn't even shoot no, 78%. No, he didn't shoot that high. So, anyway, Coach, uh, thank you so much for thank stopping you. by. Good luck tonight. and uh, uh, Thank we'll, you, and have we'll, a good Christmas if I don't see hey, you. Before. Yeah, Merry Christmas if we don't get together one more time before the yes, end, sir. end of this thing happens. All right? Thank you. It's uh, Coach Adam Bandy. He's the boys basketball coach here at Macon County High School. Tigerettes continue to score as Taylor Ward puts one in for the Tigerettes. Golly. Uh, that'll make the score 46 to 13. And as we'd mentioned, Jalen Gregory is done for the second half. She's she's setting this one out. I think she twisted her ankle, and she's still dressed up, got a little ice on her ankle. She looks like she's going to be okay. So, what do we got? We got a foul. Gracie Scott commits her second foul, team second. Uh, that will send Smithson to the line. She'll shoot two. First shot is no good. Smithson with six, six points for uh, Cannon County. Make it seven. She's the leading scorer for Cannon County with seven. Uh, Abby Shoulders leading all scorers with 16 here tonight. And Ashburn comes down, gives it to Shoulders, top of the key. She'll pass it over to the right side. That's Woodson. Woodson back to Scott. Scott dribbles in from the left side. Layup, no good. Battle for the rebound. Pelham comes down with it. Pelham clears it. Gets it to Holt. Holt brings it down. Top of the key, picks up a dribble, fires up a three, no good. Battle for it. It's on the floor, and Ashburn comes down with it. She gets pushed to the floor pretty hard. Pelham fell on her, whistle on a foul. They're going to call her for the shove. It'll be Tigerette's ball. That's Pelham's third foul. Ward comes out of the game, and Thompson cut. No, let's see what we got. We got uh, Molly Crowder in the game for the Tigerettes. She got Crowder, Thompson, Woodson, Shoulders, and Ashburn in the game for the Tigerettes. Pass down inside. Ashburn trying to get it to Woodson. And it's going to be stolen away by Smithson. Smithson fouled by Woodson. Woodson picks up her first, team's third. Holt brings it down. Pass down to Fan. Fan kicks it back outside. Smithson picks it up, passes over to Vance. Vance going to dribble a little while. Got everybody spread out across the floor. Fan pass inside, tipped away by Woodson. And Holt gets it back. Now Holt passes down inside, back outside. Fan for three. It's good. That'll make the score 46-17. I'm going to go ahead and say, I'm going to go out on a limb here and say the Tigerettes will probably win this game. We just don't know what the final outcome is going to be. Large lead. Lob down inside from Woodson to Thompson. Thompson shots blocked, taken away by Pelham. Pelham kicks it out to Holt. Holt brings it down. Long pass. Shoulders steals it. Abby Shoulders steps in front of it, and here she comes. She'll drive, kicks it out. And... Ashburn gives it back to Shoulders. Shoulders dribbles out, middle court. Top of the key, she's going to drive. Kicks it out in the corner. Ashburn for three. Good. 49-17. Tigerettes with a 32-point lead here in the third quarter. And Holt throws it away. 
Holt just threw it way over into the stands. I don't know what she, maybe somebody wasn't where they're supposed to be, but the turnover gives it back to the Tigrettes. Cadence Carter in the game now. Who we got? We got Molly Crowder inbound into Cadence Carter. We still got Taylor Ward in the game along with Ashburn and Thompson. Here comes Carter. Carter drives down, kicks it out to Ashburn. She'll dribble. Pass inside. Thompson lays it in. It's good. 51-17. Allie Thompson picks up her, is that her fourth points of the game? I believe it is. Here's Smithson down inside. Layup, good. That'll make it 51-19. Cadence Carter brings it down the floor. She'll start left. Dribble back to the middle. Vance got the time on her, picks it up, passes to Thompson. Thompson dribbles to the basket, layup, good. She's going to line, she'll shoot two. That's her sixth point of the night. Pelham picks up her fourth foul. Thompson hits the three the old fashioned way. Give her seven points on the night. Your score 54 to 19. Got a minute and 56 to play here in the third quarter. Fan gets it to Pelham. Pelham drives, layup, good. Whistle and a foul. It looks like Thompson got her on her arm. Pelham at the line. Plus one is good. That'll make the score 54-22 with a minute and 45 to play. Here in the third. Here's Miley Crowder. Miley goes to Thompson. Thompson to Ward. Ward back to Crowder. Crowder top of the key. Inside the Thompson in the lane. Goes outside to Ward and she throws it wide out of bounds. Cadence Waldron getting ready to check in for the, the game for the Tigerettes, along with Abby Shoulders. And we'll work it down inside to Smithson. Smithson fouled going to the basket. I believe they're going to get Thompson for her third foul. Smithson, she'll get two at the line. First shot. No good. Smithson has nine. Pelham has nine. Fan has three. Ward and Ashburn come out of the game for the Tigerettes. Shoulders and Waldron in. So she hit the second one, makes it 54-23. Fox running with a minute and 13 to play third quarter. Tigress just going to do a little pick and roll. Action top of the key. Trying to play keep away. Thompson goes outside. Shoulders. At the left wing. Fakes a three. Now she's going to dribble. There's Crowder. Crowder goes to Thompson. Thompson. Cadence Carter, and she loses the handle on it, goes out of bounds. Turnover. Gives it to Cannon County. Here's Fan. Fires up a three left side. It's good. 54-26. So the Tigerettes with the ball. Carter. That's Cadence Carter. Gives it to Shoulders. Shoulders going to dribble a while. We're going to take out the last 10 seconds here of the quarter. Abby kicks it outside. Waldron fires a three. Good! Cadence Waldron drills a three at the buzzer at the end of the third, makes it 57-26. Be back in just a moment. 
All right, folks, welcome back. It's fourth quarter here at Macon County High School. Tigers lead 57-26. And I believe the Tigers may pull this one out. Tigers going to turn it over, pass out to Waldron, goes off her hands out of bounds. So. This one's been all Tigrettes from the get-go. Looks like many of the starters still in the game for Cannon County. Tigrettes has emptied the bench. Thompson gets the rebound, hands it off to Cadence Carter. Carter going to dribble it into the front court. She'll start to the right side. Now back to the middle. She dribbles it, picks it up. And scoots her foot, walked. So Fan will inbound to Vance. Vance walks it into the front court. Pass over to the right side. Now back down inside. Pelham puts it up. Shot no good. Rebound put back is good. And that is number two. 32. Heel. Fifty-seven twenty-eight is the score. Six and a half to play here in the fourth quarter. Tigrets gonna get their one hundredth win. This senior class will get their one hundredth win of their high school career. Cadence Waldron slices the lane with a left handed layup. It's good. 59-28. Waldron with five points already. She'll get a rebound. Pass, and it is tipped out of bounds. Cadence Carter. She'll bring the ball into the front court. Starts to the left side. Bounce pass back to the middle. It's going to be stolen away by Smithson. She's going to the basket. Layup no good. And trailing the play for the easy layup is number 15. Uh, that is Sissom. We've not seen her since the first of the game. Makes the score 59 to 30. Smithson has the ball knocked away from behind by a Crowder. They'll keep it and somehow get it to Sissom in the corner for three, and it's good. 59-33. Coach White says, okay, you're going to keep your starters in. I'm going to put mine in, too. He's sending, it looks like he's sending most of the starters to the, bean, I mean, to the uh, scorer's table. Thompson gets a bucket. Makes it 61-33. Five minutes to play. Here's a shot for three. No good. That was Pelham. A whistle and a foul. Thompson gets called for the foul. Her fourth. She has seven points on the game. Four fouls. That's going to send number 32 to the line. Who is 32. That's Chloe Hill. First shot is good. Uh, run the score 61 34. And Cadence Carter, Cadence Waldron, Gracie Scott, and Allie Thompson come out of the game. Tigerettes on the floor will be Ashburn, Crowder, Woodson, Ward, and Shoulders. Second shot, no good. Here comes Abby Shoulders into the front court. Over to Ashburn. Ashburn to Ward. Ward back out to high. Shoulders for three. Good. That makes it 64-34. So Sissom with the ball. She'll bring it down. Pass around. Here's Fan. Fan works it down inside. Smithson puts it up. Shot no good. Puts it back. No good. Woodson comes away with it. Woodson clears it, gives it to Shoulders. 
shoulders into the front court. Left side. Dribbling. Rolls it to the middle. Now she's going to drive. Whistle. Foul on the floor. Fan got her on her arm as shoulders was blowing by her. Abby with 19 points on the game. Ashburn will inbound to Ward. Ward in the right corner. Goes to Crowder on the wing. Now Woodson inside, back outside. Ashburn for three, no good. Hughes comes away with it. Hughes, pass up to Florida Sissom. Sissom, pass across court, throws it away. Tigrets up by 30. 3.55 to play here in the fourth quarter. So Tigrette's going to do a wholesale sub. So it looks like Coach uh, is sending the uh, the youngins back in. You got uh, Waldron, Carter, Scott, Crowder, and Thompson on the floor for the Tigrettes with a 30-point lead, 3.43 to play here in the fourth quarter. They go inside, Thompson. Thompson backs in, shoots, no good. Waldron gets the rebound. Shot, no good. Rebound put back by uh, Molly Crowder. She'll pick up her first two points of the game. Camped out under the basket. Score, 66-34. Here goes Cannon County. Layup by Smithson, no good. Thompson comes away with a rebound. Gives it to Scott. Scott down to Cadence Waldron. Waldron to the basket. She is fouled and going to the line. She'll shoot two. First shot is good. Second shot, good. <laughs> She's a scoring machine. She's got seven points already. Three minutes to play. Your score is 68-34. Cannon Cannon with the ball. Scott going for the steal, and we're going to have a jump ball. Ball's on the floor. Pass inside, that's Hughes. Hughes kicks it outside. They'll work it around, top of the key. Shot for three is no good. That was Smithson. Ball's going to go. Oh, we thought it went out of bounds. It was saved. And Carter, Cadence Carter, comes up with it, and she's fouled on the arm. Chloe Hill got her on the arm, so it'll be... Two and a half minutes to play. Tigrets with a 34-point lead. And looks like Cannon County's taking some of their players out now, doing some wholesale subbing. I'm not even going to learn the numbers. Here comes Carter. Drives down to Crowder. Crowder dribbling, picks it up. Gets trapped, passes into... Thompson, out to Waldron, to Scott, to Carter, Carter, Thompson, Thompson. Right block, puts it up, no good. Scott rips it away. She just drives in there and gets the rebound. Gives it to Crowder, Crowder to Thompson. In traffic, puts it up, she's fouled. Two minutes to play in this one. 34-point lead for the Tigerettes. Allie Thompson at the line. Makes it 69-34. That is her eighth point of the game. Make it her ninth. 
70 to 34 now the Tigrettes. 36 point lead. So Cannon County brings it down. They'll work the perimeter. They got a whole new set of faces in the game. Here's a shot for three in the corner, and it is no good. Scott chases it down, tips it over to Crowder. Crowder gives it to Carter. Carter into the front court. Cadence Carter drives, lane, layup. No, she dishes off to Thompson. Thompson for the easy layup. That make it 11 points for Allie Thompson. 72-34. Minute and 14 to play. Looks like they're going to find somebody wide open down low. Her number is number 20. That is Crook. Crook gets the layup. That will make the score 72-36. Thompson drives, kicks it out. Crowder for three. Good. Molly Crowder, I believe she has five points on the game as well. 75-36, 43 seconds to play in this one. Tigerettes are going to get their 100th win of their senior season. The Tigerette seniors will get that 100th win. I believe last year's senior class won 117 games in their career. There's another long shot for three, and it goes out of bounds. Is that air ball? So that should do it for the Tigers. They go about 10 seconds when they inbound this thing. Scott gives it in to Carter. Carter brings it down with five, four, three. Thompson's going to drive. Layup good. <laughs> Allie Thompson gets 13 points on the game as she hits a buzzer beater to make it 77-36. And Jalen Gregor went out of the game just before the half where the, she twisted her anchor, ankle. She's walking on it. She just had ice on it before the game. But she's uh, she just set out the second half. She probably, probably could have played if she wanted to. But uh, I think coach said, no, we're good. Brady Brooks facing Gus Davenport to get this one going, and Cannon County will win the opening tip. They'll bring it into the front court. Davenport fakes a three, and I believe we got a player down. Shrum goes up and comes down awkwardly, and he's down on the floor. We're going to have a quick whistle on timeout. Raleigh Ritchie's going to have to come in. Is now he's, he's up and he's making his way to the end of the bench. I think he twisted his leg on the way down. I mean, right off the bat. Oh, wow. I hope uh, hope Dawson's going to be okay. He's a big physical guy inside. We're going to rely on him. So, R Richie in the game, and we're going to continue action. They're going to work it inside, now back outside. Davenport dribbles down the baseline, picks up his dribble, and we're going to have a whistle. Well, we got a lane violation. I believe we did. It'll be Tigers ball. Inbound to Wicks. Wicks to Brooks. Brooks in traffic. Draws a triple team, and they'll kick it out to Cawthorn. He'll break the timeline. Cawthorn into the front court, draws a trap. Here comes Brooks. Brooks going to dribble it. Brooks on the left side. Now back to Wicks, top of the key. Cannon County settles into a zone defense finally. Here's Brooks for three, way downtown. Shot's no good up in the air. Cawthorn comes down with it. Cody Cawthorn will get it to Hudson. Hudson to Wicks. Wicks to Brooks. Brooks going to dribble through traffic. Left side. Now to Wicks. Wicks on the wing. Now over to the right wing. That's Cody Cawthorn. Back over to the left wing. Down in the corner to Hudson. Hudson gives it to Brooks. A lot of motion by this Tigers offense. Long pass cross court to Brooks. Brooks on the left left side. Now to Hudson. Hudson on the left wing. He's, he's standing holding the ball. Hand it off to Brooks. Brooks is going to walk out near midcourt with it. Pass it over to Wicks. Very methodical. Taking their time. Here's Cawthorn. 
Cawthon inside to Hudson. Hudson back outside. Cawthon for three. No good. Cawthon gets his own rebound. Dishes off to Brooks. Brooks to the basket. Shot. No good. Battle for it. Cawthon comes out of there with it. Gives it to Wicks. Now to Cawthon. Cawthon down in the corner to Richie. Richie. Bounce pass. Back out to Wicks. Wicks. Hudson. Hudson tries the three left side. It's in and out. No good. And finally... It's going to be taken away by Reed for Cannon County. Long pass down to Armstrong. Layup good. Cannon County out in lead 2-0. So we're going to have a kick ball as Hudson's trying to pass it in the backcourt. Kick ball off of Davenport. So it'll be Tiger ball. Inbounded again. We'll give it to Wicks. Wicks to Cawthorn. Cawthorn to Brooks, into the front court. Top of the key, Brooks picks up his dribble, gives it to Cawthorn. Now down the baseline, Hudson, jumper, no good. Richie, rebound, and has it ripped away from him by Rogers, and it goes off of Rogers' foot, out of bounds. It'll be Tiger ball. Brooks is going to inbound on his baseline under the basket. Comes into Wicks, top of the key. Brooks, jumper at the foul line. Rims in and out, no good. Rebounded by Fan. Fan quickly down the floor. Pass down to Armstrong. Back to Fan. Work it over to Davenport for three. Shot no good. It's up in the air. Wicks gets the long rebound. Wicks brings it down right side. He's going to turn it away and gives it to Brooks. Brooks now down inside. Wicks slices into the basket. Layup is good. We're tied to a piece. Armstrong brings it down, hands it over to Davenport, back to Armstrong, working it around the top of the key over to Fan. Now they'll go inside. Reed, back outside. Fan fires a three, shot no good. Ball's on the floor. It'll be rebounded by Wicks. Now there's a battle for it. Cody Cawthorn comes up with it, laying on his back, calls a timeout. Good heads-up play. It'll be Tiger, Tiger's ball when we return. Be back in 30 seconds. It'll be Tiger's ball. Brooks is going to inbound in the backcourt. Throws it in to Wicks. Wicks to Cawthon. Cawthon to Hudson in the front court. They'll break the timeline. Hudson now down in the corner to Brooks. Brooks left corner. Back to Cawthon. That's working around the horn here. Here's Richie. Richie to Wicks. Wicks got everybody spread out. Good ball movement. Here's Brooks for three. Rims. Oh, no good. Battle for the rebound. It's going to be taken away by Rogers. Quick outlet pass to Gus Davenport. Going for the slam, and Brooks rejects him. Knocks it into the stands, but he didn't give him a layup. I mean, a slam dunk anyway. Here's Davenport. They'll work it around to Powell, who is now in the game. There's a whistle. A foul on the Tigers. Brooks picks up his first, team's first. Rodgers will inbound. Long inbound pass to midcourt. Stolen away by Wicks, and it goes out of bounds on the other end. Wicks did a good job of hustle play to get there and knock it away from Powell, but it goes out of bounds on the far end. Still tied to a piece, 345 to play first quarter. Brooks steals it from Davenport, but gets called for a his second foul. Ooh. Man, we can't have that. So here's Powell with the ball, defended by Wicks. Over to Davenport. Fires up a long three. No good. Goes out of bound. Tiger ball. So Brooks will inbound to Wicks. Wicks draws the double team. Now he'll get it over to Cawthon. Cawthon to Wicks. Breaks the timeline. Now to Richie. Goes out of bounds. It was last touched by Cannon County on the pass. Cannon County going to sub a couple of guys in and out. So Brooks throws it into Wicks. Over to Cawthon, bounce pass to Brooks, top of the key, shoots it up, shot, no good. He is fouled going to the line. Brooks, 
Brooks will shoot two. He was fouled by number 22, Spencer. Oh, correction. They said 42, Connor Tucker. Brooks, first shot. No good. We can't buy a basket right now. If we could, it could be so expensive. We couldn't afford it. Second shot is good. Tigers have the first lead of the night. Three to two with 3.15 to play first quarter. Here's a shot for three by Cannon County. Shot's no good. Rebounded by Wicks. That's number 12. Ken, Ken Namer. I guess that's how you say it. Tigers will turn it over. And here comes Cannon County. Gus Davenport passes out on the other side. That's Powell. Powell drives. Kicks it down in the corner. They'll get it back to him. He'll go to the basket. Shot no good. Rebound by Raleigh Ritchie for the Tigers. So the Tigers in business. Two and a half minutes to play here in the first quarter. Tigers lead three to two. I'm, I'm under the impression that any offense at all by either team right now would be big. <laughs> Cawthorn. Goes to Brooks, jump, jumper at high post. Good. Five to two. Two minutes to play here in the first quarter. Cannon County. They'll dribble. Davenport passes out for shot for three. No good. Brooks goes up and tips it over to Wicks. So the Tigers have the ball. Number 12, Colton Kennemaker missed the shot. Give the Tigers the ball. They lead by three. Minute and a half to play. Here's Brooks with another jumper from the right block. It's good. Seven to two. Tigers with a lead here. Late first quarter. Cannon County brings it down. They'll work it over to Davenport. Runs a baseline. Floater, no good. Brooks comes away with it. Brooks gets it to Wicks. Wicks is going to drive, and they say he walked. Ooh. Ah. Tigers will turn it over. So Cannon County will inbound with a minute and nine to play in the first quarter. Tigers lead seven to two. Armstrong brings it down, gets it over to Kennemaker. Back to Armstrong. Kennemaker. I'm saying that wrong, folks. Kennamer. He'll fire up a three. It's good. Whistle. Foul. Is that away from the ball? Or do they wipe it off? What happened? Raleigh Ritchie is called for a foul on the floor during the shot, away away from the ball. Shot counted, but they're going to give it back to Cannon County. So it scores 5-7. Wicks going for the steal. Couldn't save it. Nice hustle play by Wicks. Stepped in front of one, just couldn't save it. Couldn't reel it in. So Cannon County will get the inbound with 45 seconds here in the first quarter. Kanamer fires another three from the corner. It's good. That's his second three-point shot, and we're tied seven apiece. Here's Jack Hogan in the game for the Tigers. They'll work it down inside to Hudson. Hudson back outside. Brooks for three. Off the rim, no good. Richie gets the rebound, gives it to Wicks. Wicks fires up a three. It's no good. Rogers gets the rebound for Cannon County, he'll bring it down. Coast to coast layup is no good. Hudson comes away with it. Brooks has the ball with four, three, two. Kicks it out to Wicks for three. Good! He got the buzzer beater, and Tigers will take the lead 10 7 at, at the end of the first. Be back in a moment. All right, folks, starting the second quarter. Tigers lead 10 7. Eight, did they adjust the score? I guess they did. 
So the adjusted scoreboard says 10-8. There must have been a three-pointer or something we missed. Tigers with the ball. Here's Brady Brooks. Fires up another three. No good. He'll get his own rebound, and he'll get it out to Richie. Richie fakes a three and walks. And no head bob and moved the foot at the same time. Either that, it was such a good fake, it faked the official out. One of the two. You take your pick. Cannon County brings it into the front court. This is Davenport. We'll pass it around. Kanamer, he's hit two three pointers already. I'd, here's a drive shot by. Gus Davenport, shot's going to be blocked and taken away by Brady Brooks. Brooks brings it down, gives it to Hudson. Hudson to Wicks. Wicks going to dribble. Just under seven minutes to play second quarter. Two-point lead for the Tigers. Pass from Richie is stolen away. Drive, floater, shot, good. Brandon Reed got the steal in the basket. We're tied 10 apiece. Tigers into the front court. Brooks trying to get one down low. Has it stolen away by Rogers. Rogers throws it away on the other end. He was trying to get Armstrong streaking to the basket. So Tigers will inbound. Hogan in the backcourt. Gives it to Brooks. Brooks up to Wicks. Wicks at midcourt. Breaks the timeline. Now down in the corner to Hudson. Back to Wicks. Wicks. Cawthorn. Wicks. Nope. It's going to be stolen away. Cawthorn was trying to give it to Wicks. And Davenport gets a steal in the layup on the other end. Cannon County with a two-point lead. And Coach Bandy calls timeout. He's not happy. Be back in a moment. Tigers trail by two. Your score, 12-10. Tigers will have the ball coming out of the break. Cawthorn out on the wing. Picks up his dribble, gets it back to Wicks. Wicks at midcourt. Comes down, gives it to Brooks. Brooks on the left side. Long pass over to Hogan. Now to the top of the key. Wicks fires up a three. No good. Davenport gets the rebound. He has it knocked away from behind by Hogan, but he'll get it back, and now he'll fire a three in the corner. No good. Rebound by Hudson on the other side. Hudson clears it, goes to Brooks. Here comes Brooks. Dribbles, kicks it out. Wicks for three right side. It's good. Hayden Wicks with eight points. That'll make the score 13-12. And Brooks is going to get a steal. Here comes Brooks. Pull-up jumper. No good. Rogers comes away with a rebound. They're going to come to Davenport. He puts up a floater. No good. And Kanamer with the putback. Cannon County back in the lead, 14-13. Brooks into the front court. He's going to slow it down. He's holding the ball. Pat. 3.23 to play. Second quarter. Tigers lead. Correction. They trail 14-13. Wicks chunks up another three. No good. Rogers with the rebound. Gives it to... Davenport. Floater on the other end is good. That'll make it 16-13. Cannon County up by three. Here comes Hudson on the other end. That kicks it outside. That was Hogan. Hogan to Brooks. Brooks down low. Dishes back to Hudson. Hudson to the basket. Layup. Good. He's fouled going to the line. Who got him? Number 10, Fan. That will send Hudson to the line to tie this thing up. A three-point play the old-fashioned way.
in and out, no good. Tigers still down by one. Cannon, Cannon with the ball. They'll bring it down. Jumper, no good. Rogers comes down with it, puts it back up, no good. Whistle, foul, I think Cothran's going to get him. Brennan, uh, <clears throat> excuse me, La Lavelle Rogers will go to the line. He'll shoot two. First shot, no good. Second shot, no good. Brooks comes away with a rebound. Clears it, gives it to Wicks. Wicks to Hogan. Hogan back to Wicks. Brooks, Wicks, Hogan, Brooks. Jumper, left side, good. Tigers back in the lead, 17-16. 3-17 to play, second quarter. Tigers up by one. Here's Davenport. Shot blocked by Brooks. It's swatted out of there, but I think Fan hustles and gets it back. Powell to the basket. Shot no good. Brooks gets it, clears it. Gives it to Wicks. Wicks left side. He drives. Makes a move. Layup. No good. Rolls the rim. Wicks gets his own rebound, and he's fouled as he's pushed out of bounds by Reed. Brendan Reed pushed him out of bounds. Reed picks up his first, team's third. Inbound to Hudson. Hudson, pass, stolen away. This is Davenport, drives down, layup, good. Cannon County back in the lead, 18-17. So Brooks on the other end, he's gonna dribble. Hands it off to Wicks on the right side. Wicks. Back to the middle, Cawthorn. Brooks, left side, kicks it out in the corner. Hudson puts it up for three, wave it off. Brooks gets called for a charge. That's his second, his third, excuse me, third team's fifth. Brooks is going to go to the bench early. And Shrum. Shrum checking back into the game. He went out early. This is Dawson Shrum. Comes in as Brooks goes out. Reed for a jumper. The foul line, it's good. 20 to 17, Cannon County with a three-point lead. Minute and 56 to play before the half. Hudson gets trapped, pass, stolen away by Reed. Coming back. Davenport has it ripped away. H Hogan come out of that mess with it. And they say he double dribbled. <laughs> he was at midcourt, and they say he double dribbled. He was going away from me, so I couldn't see it. Official was right there. Cannon Cannon with the ball and a three-point lead. Minute and a half to go before the half. Reed. Floater in the lane is good. That makes it 22-17. Wicks gets trapped. Pass over to Hudson. Hudson brings it into the front court. Now to Wicks. Wicks at midcourt. We're going to have to take a timeout. I thought we almost had an over and back. Wicks saved it, but Coach did a good job of getting the timeout. Minute and 17 to play. We'll take a full timeout. Be back with them. Get the chance to talk to Coach White here in just a couple minutes about uh, the 100th win for the senior class. Minute and 15 to play before the half. Tigers will have the ball down by five. Wicks dribbles. He'll drive down, gives it to Hogan. Back to Cawthorn. Cawthorn guarded by Reed. Cawthorn starts left, now goes right. Cawthorn will hand it back to Wicks. Wicks to Hogan. Brooks on the bench with three fouls. Here's Wicks. Wicks dribbling with 40 seconds to go. Hudson. Dalton Hudson will hand it off to Cawthorn. Whistle. 
Cosman gets called for a foul. Did he push off? I guess he did. Coach White gearing up. He'll be talking to him at halftime. We'll get his thoughts on the, the senior class's 100th win tonight against Cannon County. 30 seconds to play before the half. Cannon County looks like they want to hold it for the last shot. Tigers are going to put a little pressure on them. Armstrong and Davenport playing a little keep away with 15 seconds. Armstrong gets it to Rogers down the left side. Rogers holding. Reed in the middle. Kanamer for three, no good. Rebound put back by Davenport is good. So Tigers led much of the way here in the first half, but go into the halftime down by seven, 24-17. Well, Coach, um, I plan on being All right, there. Dale. Thanks uh, a lot, buddy. Maybe by then we'll have a clearer picture of the tournament exactly. schedule. Okay? Exactly. All right, this is Coach Larry White. He's the uh, head coach of the girls' basketball team here at Macon County High School. Um, big win tonight for the senior class. They got their 100th win. So, uh, Anyway, underway, just underway here, the second half of the boys' game. Tigers trail by seven. And uh, Tigers are in a 2-3 defense inside the circle, and Cannon County is just content to stand and hold the ball. And so after about 30 seconds, we finally step out and make them run an offense. There's Kennemaker, shoots no good from the corner. And Cody Cothran will get the rebound. Cothran into the front court. Down by seven. Hogan's pass tipped up and out of bounds by Davenport. Hudson will throw it inbound to Wicks. Wicks near midcourt's going to dribble. Pass over to Hudson. Hudson lobs it into Brooks. Brooks has it ripped away. Now he get it. He'll get it back, and he's fouled going up to the basket. Reed got him, I believe. So Brooks will go to the line. He'll shoot two with the clock stopped at 646, down by seven here in the third quarter. Reed picked up his second foul, team's first. First shot is good. Second shot is good, 24-19. It's a five-point game. Here's Davenport. He'll bring it down. Pass inside, tipped up, and almost out of bounds. Kenna Maker keeps it from going out of bounds. He'll shoot the shot for three in the corner. It's no good, tipped away. It'll be out of bounds, Cannon County ball. Davenport will inbound to Reed. Reed. Kanamer, that's his name. Gives it to Armstrong. Over to Davenport. Reed. Jumper. No good. It's going to go out of bound. Tiger ball. Brooks will inbound to Cawthon. Cawthon. Breaks the backcourt pressures. He just dribbles it down the... Right side into the front court. Here's Hudson out on the right wing. Gives it into Brooks. Brooks on the give and go to Hudson. Hudson to the basket. Layup is no good, but he's fouled. He'll go to the line. Reed picks up his third foul. Hudson at the line. First shot, no good. Second shot, in and out, no good. So Rogers gets the rebound, hustles it down. They'll work it out 
high to Davenport. Fires up a three. It's good. That'll make it 27-19. Cannon Kenny with the ball. Wicks loses a handle on it, picks it up, gets it to Brooks. Still in the backcourt. He'll bring it down into the front court. <clears throat> As Brooks, he drives against Fan. Fan gets called for a foul. Brooks playing with three fouls. Here's Cother. Cother splits the defense, passes it out to Hogan. Hogan to Wicks. Hudson. Cother. Hogan, top of the key. Hudson, jumper at the foul line. I think it's partially blocked. And Cothran saves it from going out of bounds, but he throws it back into Armstrong. Armstrong gets it down in the corner. Here's Davenport, fires up a three. It's good. Raleigh Ritchie getting ready to check in for the Tigers. Here comes Brooks for three, top of the key. In and out, no good. Hudson, rebound. Put back is going to be blocked. And so Fan will come out of that scrum with it. Here's Rogers to the basket. Layup good. Cannon County building the lead now, 32 19. Here's Hudson. Drives through traffic. Layup no good. He's fouled by Rogers. Rogers, that's his second correction first. Hudson at the line. First shot is good. It's a 12-point game. Cannon County with the lead. Got them both. 32-21 now the score. Cannon brings it down. Here's Davenport. Davenport floater in the lane. No good. Shot blocked by Brooks. And they're going to call Brooks for the foul. That's his fourth. So Brooks will play with four fouls now. I'm going to send Davenport to the line. He'll shoot two. First shot, no good. Your score, 32-21, 4-0-1 to play third quarter. Davenport at the line, one shot. It's good. Make it 33-21. Wicks brings it down. Gets it to Hogan on the left side. Hogan looking. Now gets it back to Wicks in the middle. Over to the right side. That's Richie. Back to Wicks. Inside. They're trying to go down low. Cawthorn throws it down low, and it's going to be stolen away going the other way. There's Davenport for three. Ball's in the air. Rogers rebound. Drives. Whistle. What do we got? Charge. They call Lavelle Rogers for the charge. That's his second. Team's fifth. Wave off the basket and be Tiger Ball. So here's Richie. Richie gives it back to Wicks. Wicks bounce pass inside, stolen away. Here goes Davenport the other way. Pass underneath. It's going to hit the backboard. And Powell gets the rebound in the put back by Cannon County. Timeout making County. They're down 35-21. Be back in a moment. 
3.08 to play here in the third quarter. Tigers down 35-21 to Cannon County. Cawthorn comes down, just throws it right over to Cannon County, and here they go, layup good. Gus Davenport piling them up, 17 points. Wicks dribbles through traffic, backs up, throws it up, shot no good. Rebound, Cannon County, out it to Davenport, layup good, 39-21. You'd think Davenport would get tired of running down there and laying it up like that. But he looks fresh. 39-21. Cawthorn has it stolen away by Armstrong. They go to Davenport. Davenport, backdoor pass, layup no good. Davenport put back good. 41-21, down by 20. 2.06 to play third quarter. Cawthorn to Hudson. Back to Cawthorn, fires up a three. Air ball out of bounds. Brooks checks in the game. Cannon Kenny will have the ball. Leading by 20. Shot by Davenport for three is no good. Hudson gets the rebound on the other side. Shot for three. Wicks gets the three. That'll tighten it up a little bit. Rogers on the other end. Gets the basket, makes it 43-24. Here comes Brooks. Brooks gets it to Hudson with about 58 seconds to play before the end of the third quarter. And we're going to have another turnover. Armstrong gets the steal, gives it to Davenport for an easy layup, and he misses it. So the Tigers will have it now. 41 seconds to play. Third quarter, Wicks goes to the basket. Underhanded layup, no good, can't get the roll. Long outlet pass down to Davenport for the layup. No good. Rogers rebound. Put back. No good. But he is fouled by Richie. Yep, Raleigh Richie got him. So Lavelle Rogers at the line. He'll shoot two. First shot is good. Second shot, good. 45-24 the score. Cannon County with the lead. Brooks spins, shoots, ball rolls out. Wiggs gets it, put back, no good. Ball's tipped in the air, battle for it. Brooks comes away with it. Brooks back to the basket, wave it off. Fouled on the floor. So, Tigers with the ball. Shot no good. At the buzzer, we'll go to the end of the third. Down by 21 points. Be back in a moment. Again, that's two and eight for the girls, three and nine for the boys. Tuesday, Thursday, and Saturday, only on NCTV Channel 97. All right, folks, as we start the fourth quarter, Hudson misses the shot. Cannon Cannon goes down for the layup, and Davenport is fouled by Brady Brooks, and he's done. That's his fifth. Brooks is out of the game. 
Um, that'll put Davenport at the line. He'll shoot two. First shot, no good. Second shot, no good. Battle for the rebound. Cody Coughlin gets the long rebound. He'll bring it into the front court. Gets trapped, past the middle, stolen away by Reed. Reed has it knocked away by Hudson. Hudson for the layup, good. Brady Driver was an assist on that one. Cannon County with the ball. There's a whistle away from the ball. Reed with a push away from the ball. It'll be Tiger Ball. The officials are getting together and talking right here. What do we got? Tigers will be, yep, be a one and one. So Hudson will be at the line. He's going to shoot the foul shot. So first shot is good. That'll make it 45 27, 7 35 to play fourth quarter. Hudson, second shot, good. 45 28. We're going to have Cole Owens check in the game now for the Tigers. So Armstrong brings it into the front court, passes over to Davenport. Davenport down in the middle. They'll work it inside of Rogers. Rogers in traffic, puts it up, whistle. They waved the basket off. He was fouled on the floor. Cole Owens checked in the game, get picked up the foul. His first team's fourth. They'll go back inside. They're going to try Rodgers. Rodgers with the spins, shoots, scores. 47-29. Tigers just can't cut into this lead. Richie with a shot, no good. Wicks. Battling for the rebound, goes out of bounds. It'll be Kenny Cannonball. Cannon County. Kanamer with a three in the corner, no good. Cothran gets the rebound, kicks it out to Driver. Driver brings it down. Top of the key, gets it back to Cawthorn. Cawthorn over to Wicks. Wicks left side, now down in the corner. They'll bounce pass inside to Owens. Shoots, no good. We're going the other way. Here's Cannon County. Davenport for three. Owens gets the rebound. Gives it to Wicks. Reed is pestering him there, but he gets it away. Here's Wicks for three. Rims in and out, no good. Davenport, long pass down to Reed. Reed shoots, scores, makes it 49-28. So the Tigers will have it in the front court. They go inside to Cole, back outside to Richie. Richie drives, slices the lane, layup, no good. Rogers, rebound going the other way. Layup by Reed is good. 51 28. 534 to play here in the fourth quarter. Driver with the ball, throws it off the foot of the defender, Reed. Hogan set the check back in for the Tigers. Driver going to get a break. So the 
Tigers with the ball. They trail 51-28. Richie down inside, puts it up. Shot no good. Rebounded by Cannon. Cannon, we're going the other way. Here's Davenport. Easy layup, good. 53-28, 5.05 to play here in the fourth. Richie kicks it outside. Cawthorn for three, no good. Raleigh Richie gets the rebound, goes back to Cawthorn. Cawthorn goes inside to Richie. Richie fouled as he's shooting. Reed is going to foul out. That's his fifth. Reed gets his fifth. He's going to the bench. He'll send Raleigh Ritchie to the line. He'll shoot two. First shot, no good. Second shot, no good. Ball goes out of bounds. It'll be Tiger ball. Last touch by number 42. We've got a whole new lineup coming in the game for Cannon County. I'm going to have to learn some names. But for now, it'll be Tiger's ball. Cawthorn passes out. Powell gets the steal to Davenport. Layup, tip in, good. 55-28. Here's Richie. Richie in traffic, battling. Passes back to Hudson. Ball's on the floor. Hudson gets it. Goes to the basket. No good. Tipped out of there, and Cody Cothran gets the long rebound. Cothran, pass. Richie, shot. Good. It's a 25-point lead for Cannon County with four minutes to play here in the fourth quarter. Gus Davenport. With a basket on the other end for the easy layup. It's good. Here comes Wicks for three. No good. Davenport gets the long rebound. He's heading the other way. Layup. Rims out. No good. Hogan comes out of there with it. Your score, 57-30. Hogan drives down. Gets to Richie. Richie drives. Right block. Layup. Good. Gets the roll. 57-32. Three and a half to play. Here's Davenport for three. No good. Hudson goes up, gets it, clears it, gives it to Wicks. Wicks, he'll drive. Basket, layup, good. 57-34. Just under three minutes to play here in the fourth quarter. There's a whistle. We got a foul. I think Wicks is going to get called for a foul against Davenport. Wicks picks up his first, team's fifth. Cawthorn comes out. Hudson comes out. Driver and Owens check in for the Tigers. Or Owen. Here's Davenport, fires up another three, no good. Cannon Kenny will get the rebound and work it back to Davenport out on the right wing, now down in the corner. Shot, no good. Rebound by Hogan. They're going to work it quickly to Wicks. Wicks drives the basket. Whistle. He's fouled. Number 15. Is Farrell, Austin Farrell, called for uh, correction? Yeah, Austin Farrell, sophomore. He's fouled for a blocking foul. It'll send Wicks to the line for two, for 2.25 to play here in the ball game. Wicks, first shot is good. That'll make it 57 35. Wicks with 14 points on the game. Misses the second one. 
Rebound by Howell going the other way. Farrell looks at the three. He'll pull it down. He's going to dribble. Gets to Powell in the corner. Bounce pass inside to Davenport for layup in the lane. It's good. Davenport with 29 points. And he's took 50 shots or better. Just under two minutes to play in the game. Your score, 59-35. Wicks fires up a three. No good. Richie gets the rebound. Now he'll put it back up. No good. Richie gets the rebound in traffic. Puts it back up again. No good. Just can't get it to go in. Richie gets the rebound. And we're going to have a whistle and a foul. What do we got? He stepped on the line. <laughs> I think they're going to finally take Davenport out of the game with a minute and a half to play. It's a 59-35 lead for Cannon County over Macon County here tonight at senior night. And neither senior got to play for the Tigers. Both on the bench in street close. So here's Cannon County. Armstrong fires up a three. It's no good. Isaac Kirby gets the rebound, gets it out to Hogan. Hogan comes down, fires it up, shot no good. So we're heading the other way. This is Cordell Howell. Baseline, no good. Ball going to go out of bounds. It'll be Tiger ball. 54 seconds to play. Tigers trail 59-35. We're going to have a technical call against the bench over on Cannon County. So that means somebody said something. The official was coming up the sideline. Somebody on the bench must have must have said something. So Tigers will get a couple of free baskets here if they can hit them. Jack Hogan going to the line. First shot, no good. Second shot, Hogan got the second. 59-36, we're under a minute to play in this one. I'm going to go ahead and say the Tigers are probably going to lose this game. <laughs> Captain Obvious here. Hogan into the front court. I'll pass it over to Richie. Richie's going to dribble. Kicks it out. Driver fires up a three. Shot. No good. It'll be rebounded by Cannon County, and they'll bring it down. Here's Howell going to the basket. Shot. No good. Whistle. Foul. He'll go to the line. 34 seconds to play. Correction. That's Austin Farrell. No good. Hogan brings it down into the front court. Gives it the driver. Back to Hogan. Driver. Work the middle. Now inside, they'll go to Richie. Richie baseline jumper. Good. 59 38. Raleigh Richie with scoreboard shows four points. It looks like Cannon County is going to dribble out the clock. Cannon County wins here over Macon County tonight, senior night, 59-38. want to thank everybody for tuning us in tonight here on Country 102. We'll be back next Friday night over in Westmoreland. <laughs>